Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Multiverse Monologues, the show where we like to travel across the multiverses and visit the phantoms that we love. Today, we'll be talking about one of my favorite things, probably my favorite thing when it comes to the superhero genre. We're going to be talking about Daredevil and just his most recent appearance. Obviously, if you've seen any of the promotional material, you knew Daredevil was coming to She-Hulk. But yes, I'm going to be discussing spoilers from She-Hulk Episode 8. So if you have not seen it yet or do not care, this is your spoiler warning. Today, we're going to be discussing if the MCU has ruined Daredevil. That was a big concern back in the day when Marvel said that they were going to revive the character. Will they keep him the same? Will he be the dark and gritty man that we know and love him for? I just want to throw some numbers out just to uh, make us appreciate what we got in She-Hulk Episode 8 just a little more. So prior to his appearance in She-Hulk Episode 8, it had been 1,448 days since the last time we saw Charlie Cox dressed up as Daredevil. That was, of course, in Daredevil Season 3. We got him in No Way Home, but I'm I'm discounting that. And yeah, in seven years MCU time, if Daredevil is canon, we still do not know if the show is canon. But yeah, 2018 is when season three takes place and 2025 is when She-Hulk takes place. But yeah, did the MCU ruin the character in She-Hulk? And I'm just going to say no. No, they did not. Anyone who's saying that they've ruined him is just complete crap. Have they changed some things about him? For sure. There are definitely things that are a little different, but it's also really hard to judge because She-Hulk is a comedic show. So Daredevil is going to be written a little more comedic. I wouldn't expect the way Daredevil is written in She-Hulk Episode 8 to be the determining factor on how he will be written for the rest of his span in the MCU. And I don't I don't even think that he was written too bad in this episode. I think everything with Matt Murdock hits it out of the park. I was I was grinning cheek to cheek when he was in the courtroom defending Luke Jacobson and going up against Jen. I mean, that was just so cool. It's The speculation was real when the series was announced that Daredevil would appear, and he did. So it was just great to see him back in that capacity. His scene with Jen in the bar was just so good. He's just basically giving his motto to her when when the law fails. That's when She-Hulk can come out. That, that's what Daredevil does, you know? Lawyer by day, vigilante by night. As a massive Daredevil fan, I just, I can't, be anything but so happy that this day actually came that Charlie Cox is reprising this role and yeah I do have some problems with what they did um comparing the Daredevil show to this 20 minute appearance in this She-Hulk episode it's just too hard the comedic tones that they're completely different I mean we saw Daredevil and She-Hulk he was a lot more happy I'd say which I uh I know it's going to make a lot of people mad, but I mean, come on. It, this is one of my favorite characters, and seeing him smile, it makes me happy. So when this guy's happy, we know we know from season three, Matt was in the lowest of lows. He was so depressed, just beyond the threshold. And seeing him happy, seeing him just be able to go have some good banter with Shiok was was really fun. I think some of the stuff they did was not ideal. Him Hooking up with She-Hulk, I, uh, it's not concerning. It's just a, it's just an interesting choice. It's not what I would have written into the show. I will say this: the walk of shame they had him do at the end of the episode that was, uh, that's something our Matt would never do. It uh, was really dumb, and I thought a cheap gag. But no, it doesn't ruin the character. I think too much good in this appearance. We got another hallway-esque fight scene. Come on, we got some Billy Club action. And, uh, I mean, his uh, his fight with She-Hulk, sure, he was able to evade her for a second, but she is a super-powered being, and he is just a, uh, not a scrawny white dude, but he, he, he doesn't have super strength, so him fighting She-Hulk, it uh, was only a matter of time before She-Hulk was able to take him down. That's just how the, the power scales go in the MCU. But I uh, I did want to get up and punch She-Hulk when she threw a car at my boy. A car would 100% murder 
Matt Murdock. She better watch out. But yeah, this episode did not ruin the character, and it, it actually set the stage for quite a lot. Um, we heard him and Jen say that he has his own practice. So uh, we saw at the end of season three, Nelson, Murdock, and Paige. So hopefully that is what they are talking about. And uh, we got a name drop of Hell's Kitchen. And we got the Daredevil theme. I mean, come on. How great was that? Just hearing that again on TV. They've changed some things for sure. And uh, not all the choices I would have made. But it is a comedic show. He's going to be written a little more comedic. So we just have to wait, see how he's portrayed in Echo, and see how he's portrayed in Daredevil Born Again before we can distinctly say what this character is. And uh, if Daredevil is a little more comedic, that's all right. I obviously don't want that. It's not ideal. But he has been known to have some banter in the comics. And uh, if they go more of a comic-heavy Daredevil, I'm going to love it because, I mean, we have yet to really get a good swinging scene with Daredevil. The uh, The Netflix show obviously relied heavily on stunt performers and practical effects, and uh, the MCU is more CGI heavy. So uh, hopefully we're going to get that Spider-Man Daredevil swinging scene that I've wanted for so long. But yeah. Too soon to say I want I want to see more of Daredevil before I can say there are definitely some stupid things written in this episode for Daredevil. He had a few bad lines of dialogue, but I mean, She-Hulk hasn't exactly been perfect on dialogue, so you can't expect these writers to perfectly write this character. And I would like to see a little more care being put into a legacy character like Daredevil, but we got to see more. We got to see more. It's too soon to say. I've said that probably a million times. But those are just my thoughts on this appearance and whether or not they ruined him. They did not. But, yeah, thank you guys for sticking around. Make sure to like and subscribe. we got a lot going on here. Uh, check us out on anywhere you find your podcast. we got a Marvel movie marathon going on right now where we watch every single theatrically released Marvel movie, starting with Howard the Duck. And our most recent one was... X-Men The Last Stand, and we got a Ghost Rider podcast coming out soon. So, yeah, check us out on there. Just get more content from us. Thank you for sticking around, and we'll see you in another multiverse.